Is a top AEW star possibly leaving the company soon? AEW are missing multiple major stars due to COVID. And we've got an update on Logan Paul signing with WWE. Stay tuned to find out all about it. Well, we're kicking things off today with some news regarding an AEW star. It's quite shocking news to me. I, I'm a bit saddened by the whole thing. It's, yeah, it's me caught too. me really off guard. I, th I think if, if people have read it as well, I think it would catch quite a lot of people off guard. Yeah. So uh, Santana here may be looking to leave AEW, mm. seemingly uh, counting down his contract on social media. So in April, he tweeted 126 days, which takes us to September 1st, a time where that sort of roughly where his contract is going to expire yeah um earlier this week as well he just simply tweeted soon Ooh. yeah sean ross sap has speculated that there may be some division between santana and ortiz mm. as well apparently they very rarely interact together outside of actual tag matches and santana has been taking solo bookings for several months now uh he also suffered the injury during the blood and guts match yep. which we haven't heard anything about we're kind of waiting no. to hear more uh but this one was from wrestling news.co i guess we'll find out more as it develops but we know aew is kind of willing to allow contracts to roll out and let mm -hmm. talent go and, and do what they want to yeah. do and come back if they want but i love santana and ortiz me too this i mean properly gutted me <laughs> exactly exactly that's it and they're a tag team that's been together i think since yeah. about 2012 as well you know they're really decorated the czw champions and yep. impact champions amongst many other things as well like mm -hmm. you would think you know you would think they were just like bread and butter just like your best of friends but i guess yeah. you know things happen don't they in life with purely speculating here not sure if there is things yeah. uh, going on between them but um yeah it's such a shame and another thing i guess to mention as well is in the lead up to the blood and guts match when we had the little promo package for it and everything yeah. uh ruby soho was talking uh, about how you know john moxley and uh, Ortiz have Eddie Kingston's back, but there was no mention of Santana in there, hmm. which felt a little bit strange too. Yeah, I, I just I was getting all excited about maybe seeing them again, like together as a tag yeah. team taking on the division. And, Absolutely. And now it's just like, oh. I know. Like I don't, I don't, I don't really. You know, I I love a lot of AEW tag mm. teams, but Santana mm. and Ortiz are very unique to me i always enjoy watching them yeah. like wrestle they, they have a very unique way of going about things absolutely that. agreed i was ho i was honestly hoping that after all the chris jericho stuff after yeah. all this that and the other they could just break away from and that dominate and dominate because yeah. i don't they, they've not <laughs> held the AEW tag team championships yet yeah. which is like i Shocking think that's one well. thing that's yeah. eluded them and they i think they absolutely deserve them too mm. yeah i guess we'll find out more as this story develops mm. but keeping it with aew we've got uh it's sort of a bit of a reason for why things have been maybe i don't want to say mishmash but yeah just a little bit mishmash a little recently bit. uh this one comes from the wrestling observer radio uh, and you know there were a few key stars missing from aw blood and guts mm -hmm. uh, and it was a bit of a kind of oh this is this wasn't really teased and this is all just feels a little maybe just stuck together real quick yeah i feel as though like blood and guts was very much about the blood and guts match oh, right which yeah. i suppose would take away from from the other matches surrounding that like but perhaps yeah. they didn't feel as a uh, as consequential as what the blood and guts match did so people didn't really pay any attention kind of to it and whatnot but, yeah but yeah. dave Meltzer, as i said over at wrestling observer radio has said there were a lot of people who were not available for the show because of covid uh, and that's why they didn't announce the show or other matches until pretty much the uh, the day after blood and what until pretty much other than the blood and guts <laughs> i don't think he, he, he goes the most roundabout way so what he meant to say there was and that's why there was nothing really announced except for the blood and guts match yes. <laughs> uh, i don't think that they had any matches until this morning which was obviously on the day mm -hmm. uh, they didn't announce much of this show ahead of time because they had to redo whatever it was the show was being put together late because of fears and things like that so that's why some of the matches besides the blood and guts match the matches themselves are not exactly the usual quality mm. uh but yeah the big takeaway there through dave's meandering <laughs> uh labyrinth of a paragraph there is that there were stars that were affected by covid they were quite yeah. unsure as to maybe if anybody else would develop covid symptoms mm -hmm. and so uh you know it was kind of left to the last minute and the show was put on together and that like put together like that and that's why dave's like it just wasn't up to the usual standard but you can't blame them you can't so. blame them <laughs> well you know i mean that's the good protocol to take isn't oh, of it of course I, you don't I, want somebody out there you know 
potentially, you know, walking past loads of fans yeah. and giving them all COVID oh, exactly. or vice versa. You know, we still need to be testing for mm. this stuff and we still need to be making sure people are healthy because especially in an athletic thing like yeah. wrestling, you're moving around a lot, you're getting blown up, you're, you know, you're knackered. Yeah. If you're having breathing difficulties, it's going to make it 10 million oh, times harder. Yes. So yeah. yeah, that and you're infectious. So. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And you know, like the matches that were put on as well, there were, there were still good matches. Yeah. You know, perhaps as maybe as Dave says, maybe not of the usual quality, which fair it enough. Still I guess a good that's night personal opinion. Still yeah. a good night of wrestling. It was, it was. We saw yeah. Dan Housen in the ring, which we was did. just, it was lovely. And Blood and Guts went nearly a full hour. Just, it did. Oh, oh it was oh. good. Oh, it was Brutes Magoots. Now, moving on to the NXT side of the fence. Mm. I like to think there's just this weird, like, octagon of fences. <laughs> yeah. and we're just kind of, we're in the middle, NXT we're just popping just over like each one. Staring uh, this one, again, comes from the Wrestling Observer Radio, but Dave Meltzer has said that WWE is considering some call-ups to the main roster for NXT wrestlers and those wrestlers are Sanger and mm. Zion Quinn mm. with WWE apparently believing that Quinn is the total package Whoa. not Lex Luger just the, just total, the total package, package. Uh, now, Sanger, of course, was the former tag partner of Via Mahana. Mm. He was repackaged into the role of a bodyguard for Grayson Waller, who himself is just, you know, uh, going from strength to strength. Big boy. Uh, you've got Zion Quinn, obviously former rugby player. Daniel Vado has been a standout of NXT 2.0 so far. Mm. You know how they're getting with athletic individuals, yep. you know, and he's been a standout, as I said. It makes absolute sense they'd want him up there on the main roster. Absolutely. Also, look at him. He just looks like a TV star, it's doesn't he? A- Sickening. Beautiful good specimen. Good at rugby, good at wrestling. Looks like that. There's got to be something wrong there. I, can't, I mean, he's I, got the tattoo. This isn't. It, it's unfair, Andrew. He got all of the good. <laughs> he got all of the good. What do you mean? And then look at me. No, look at, give look, up. He's got glorious hair. He's got. <laughs> that you got. I I was looking. I was watching right the videos from the beach when you were doing yeah. the news on the beach, and everyone was like, "Sam is looking damn fine." <laughs> it's because I was wearing matching tie dye. That was uh, all. That was what it was. But th- this is this is great though. You know. Um, p- perhaps maybe we see Zang- uh, sorry, Sanger and uh, Veer back together again. There's something... Potentially. Veer is like, Veer's okay mm. on the main roster. There's something missing. I keep saying this. He looks like a lovely man. Like, you just want to hug Veer. Yeah. So maybe if you get Sanger in there as well, Sanger, that's two lovely men you want it. Sanger but, also has... Um, he, he's got a bit of uh, fame, you know, in mm. in, uh, in India, especially yeah. because he was uh, he was a feature player in a, a very famous TV show mm. uh, concerning... I can't remember what it is. It's based on like the epic story okay. from that part of the world. Uh, but yeah, he he was like a featured part of that. Yeah. So he's somebody with name value mm-hmm. in that market. And I, I feel oh, like, yeah. you know, bringing him to the main roster. That's a really good idea. Uh, it's a market WWE has been wanting to tap into for the mm-hmm. longest time and trying to tap into for the longest time. So it just makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe if we don't put him with Via or we don't put him solo, do you reckon because because Shanky's probably on his way out? Oh from, my cause, goodness! Because Jinder's sick, yeah. sick of him. He's just starting. Jinder's sick of him. Yeah, you know, I meant he's on his way out of oh, Jinder's I care. You. I get so, you. So maybe he could be you know somebody that turns up and, and helps dispose of Shanky with his dancing ways. I like it. Yeah. I like. I don't that. know. We'll uh, see. Just a dance trio. <laughs> yeah. Why not just uh, get Veer in there? As everybody well? he brings in. Absolutely. Everybody he brings in to kind of get rid just ends up dancing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And finally, we are taking a look at the biggest news to break last Mm. night in the wrestling world. And it feels odd saying that. But then again, who am I to talk? He had a fantastic showing at WrestleMania. He silenced all of the naysayers, myself very much included. Logan Paul has signed with WWE. He got the, the, I know you said the Vince McMahon, he got the Triple H finger yep. point. Uh, he got everything. He, he's signed. So uh, he shared the photo of himself with Triple H and Steph uh, all over his socials yesterday. And then Ariel Helwani added on Twitter, per sources, it's apparently a multi-year deal to compete at multiple events per year. No return date set, but mm. could be next month at SummerSlam and Miz would make a lot of sense. Obviously yeah. we saw uh, the, you know, Logan Paul was brought up to Miz yeah recent like with this week so it's it mm. sort of you know it, it is bubbling away it's i fresh. think SummerSlam makes sense it's a big yeah. show there's gonna be a lot of eyes on it they mm-hmm. want as many eyes on it as possible so yeah without a he's doubt he's somebody that is gonna bring people to that uh and then he corroborated logan paul corroborated what helwani said in a video for wwe socials didn't he he did he said so i just signed my wwe contract with the sport of triple h and stephanie mcmahon this is a massive deal but let's get one thing straight because i don't want to get this twisted. I did not sign my contract to team up with The Miz. In fact, I want nothing to do with The Miz. That man 
is dead to me. He is my enemy and I signed this contract so I can beat the Miz's ass at SummerSlam. Let's go. I, you know, I, I, again, I can't say anything. I no. was going into his media appearance like, oh my God, yep. not again. Not yep. another terrible celebrity <laughs> appearance. <laughs> and then he started just busting out amazing stuff good. and started doing some, uh, some just nice, amazingly, like for a, for a celebrity yeah. guest, it was like, what? Uh, and you know, he was uh, doing the whole Eddie taunt and everything Absolutely. coming off the top rope. Though. I mean, we saw pictures of him this week mm -hmm. hitting moonsaults and it's, it's, yeah, I don't like it, but Logan Paul's in WWE and it makes the most sense in the world. <laughs> and he's putting all the work in for it too, he's right? Like you just said, we, like, we saw what he did at WrestleMania. You know, he, he's proving that he's somebody that doesn't seem to want to do anything by half. Yeah, like yeah he's, exactly. He jumped, you know, you, the, the whole boxing thing, mm -hmm. he jumped into the boxing thing and everybody was immediately like, oh my God. And I'm still not somebody that likes to really, I'm not really bothered by YouTubers yeah, boxing. Yeah. But he's trying to transcend the whole YouTuber thing mm -hmm. into just being a boxer and a YouTuber, I guess and it looks like it's the same with WWE. He's Absolutely. just trying to add feathers to his hat mm -hmm. rather than kind of changing the color of the feather depending yeah. on the day of the week. Yeah, and yeah. I, and and I guess the thing is as well, like he's changing the the feathers and all this like <laughs> that you yeah. said, but he's doing so with a lot of passion as yeah. well for it, and a lot of respect. I think for that's it too. the thing. You know, wrestling is a it, it's a history a history. It's a company a company. It's a, 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 an industry. Sorry, you, you can tell I'm tired. It's an industry steeped in you know history, yeah. uh, and it's all honor based, and it's you know you put in the work. You you mm -hmm. get good things out of it has yeah. always been sort of the attitude, hasn't it? So I think if you come in and you prove to people that you you are willing to do that, then, you know, you are part of it. Absolutely. There, there's no two ways about it. Not He's all. definitely not snooky at WrestleMania. Yeah. So, you ah. know, that's, that's it. You know, once you're past that level, you're grand. You're done. You're ready. <laughs> but anyway, we will be back in a little bit with some more lovely wrestling news for you all. Thank you very much for watching. Tati bye.